Hello friends, so let's discuss about two important but quite confusing topic for every Indian undergraduate students like which book to prefer for medicine and which platform is the best for medicine. I will be discussing complete idea with you. So stay tuned with the video and watch till the end. It will be useful to your study and entrance exam also because coaching institute are telling prefer the Harrison's because they are teaching from Harrison. College faculty are telling Harrison is not to your level. So students are confused which one to choose. That's why I come up with the idea and give you the best out of it because I have discussed with some of the standard faculty from the India and some of the toppers from the India and I will be discussing same idea with you. So let's start with the first question for the today's video which is the best book for the medicine. I have divided separate theory as well as practical part for the knowledge. For the theory, I have discussed Harrison, Davidson, CMDT, Kumar and Clark and Matthews. College faculty are recommending us Easy, Kumar and Clark and Matthews because they are telling Harrison is, to, Harrison is hard to understand, Harrison is not to your level. Then why you are not teaching to us from Harrison? So we can also understand Harrison, na? No, because Harrison is the speciality book. You can read the Harrison for a reference purposes also. But take out the advantage because Harrison is the quite tough book to understand and you are not able to complete it in your undergraduate level. So you have to take out best out of it. My recommendation is that you can read first up part of Harrison because it consists of cardinal signs which will be helpful to you in your next exams as well as for your clinical practice in undergraduate level. Yes, you can read the Harrison from first page to last page but after that message me personally that will be not possible to you at undergraduate level. Okay? David says the quite easy and simple book to recall in your university exams also. Whatever book you are choosing, choose wisely because you have to use it for your undergraduate level and your university exams as well as for your PG preparation exam also. If you are preferring simple book for your university exam also, but you have to choose one of the good book for your PG preparations. So choose single source wisely which is suits you and it easily to read by you also. Okay? So theory options are Harrison, Davidson, CMDT, Kia and K and Matthews. Harrison is the gold standard as I told you but choose wisely as your convenience. You can choose two out of them. They are quite, quite good books and questions are directly coming from that book. My recommendation is go with Davidson because Davidson is the easy to understand in your university as well as for your entrance exams also. For your practical exam, most of Indian students are preferring PJ Mehta or Al Kappan. Yeah, they are good books but they are Indian authors. Some students are fond of liking to foreign publication. Yes, so you can reach out the Hutchinson book or McClure's. And if you want to get best out of their knowledge, my recommendation is that you can read the general medicine skill part from Hutchinson and from neurological examination, you can choose Hutchinson for clinical examination book. And from McLeod's, you can read the respiratory systems, GIT systems and cardiovascular systems for your clinical exams and for your practical exams also. PJ Mehta is the quite good book you can prefer. Al Kappan is the also simple book for your practical purpose also. So this will be approach for theory and practical exams. You can follow the practical videos from the YouTube or from any of the sources available in the market. Watch out that videos and see how the science presenting and how the science to demonstrate in the patient because ultimately in the next two you have to prefer and you have to give exam in your clinical part okay so i have discussed all the important things exam oriented approach because we are just mainly focusing on exams and it will be give us great pg seat in india so second questions is quite confusing to all students because options are there in great way 
which platform or faculty best for medicine from my recommendation i am not going to promote any of the faculty based on my own experience and based on own experience i will be recommend you some of the important points from all the platform Re remember one thing all the platforms are same but teaching method and teaching style from all faculty are different that's why you like which some faculty and i am liking another faculty concepts are same knowledge are same understanding are also same but teaching style and method are different that's why they are different at their level starting with the prep leader prep leader is dipak marwa sir which is the quite good and ultimate level with the medicine they are giving you high yield crisp concise exam oriented content as told by prep leader padho jitna chahe utna best don't that you can get out best only exam oriented approach for the next exam okay from the mero docket dr rakesh sir is the also good faculty for the medicine part but mero has the deep knowledge quite good knowledge but too much content for undergraduate level yeah they are require for some institute like aims jipmer but you have to take best out of it from mero and faculty are also good but deep knowledge and too much content in the mero one of the best idea for e gurukul i am liking that because they have flexibility of two faculties dr patia sir and dr thamim sir i am not promoting but if you like some video like acid base balance from patia sir and neurology part from thamim sir so that will be flexibility flexibility given by e gurukul so it will be great to you because the two faculties are there to give you extra edge the other students and sir and these platforms have single faculty to teach all medicine part in the e gurukul you can choose some topics from that faculty and some topics from that topic topic from that faculty so you can get best out of it from two faculties and content are also exam oriented and let me tell you one fact thing if you are a dropper students and not pass new pg exam in first time follow the prep leader or e gurukul only it will give you pointed crisp and concise content high yield for next and neat exam mero is the coming with better idea and giving you best out of it and concising content so if, if you are dropper you can follow and if you are a third year or final year students follow any of three whichever faculty you are liking most that's okay all the content are same all things are same but you have to read ultimately by your own way follow any of faculty follow any of the books that will decide by you i am just recommending you some of the important points so you can get some knowledge from that okay so that will be approach and for the next two exams for next one exams how to follow that <clears throat> for the confusion i am clearing you next two exams you can follow this faculty notes for your pg preparations combining these notes with this part to reference source for harrison and davidson to for your university theory exams and take out advantage from that to practical part also because some of the questions are image based and they will give you sign so you have to follow sign so from class note follow the theory part and practical part if you understanding the myocardial infarction myocardial infarction lead some part from that book and for theory purpose and for university exam purpose you can follow these standard books and for practical purpose as i told you you can follow any of the book they are all good but if you are a for, if you want to read foreign authors books so i have divided this topics for you because they are quite good and easy way explained in this way and all things are based on my own experience if you have any questions regarding medicine part you can ask me in my comment box or you can mail me personally i would like to respond to you as big as i can and if you are the medical students and medical aspirants please press the thumbs up button and like the video share subscribe thank you so much guys i will be posting such more and more videos for you so thank you so much and 
keep learning